Guys, if you follow me on Instagram, I am always raving and loving and giving love to Harney and Sons. It's my favorite tea company when it comes to just daily teas. And um, I placed an order from Harney and Sons, and I'm about to show you guys what this is. So if you're wondering why I order from Harney and Sons, it's not a lot of teas. Just stick around. It'll be a short video, by the way. So I love Harney and Sons. Like I mentioned, it's my favorite uh, tea company at the moment. This is not gonna be a huge order. I only placed literally uh, an order for two teas. Well, three teas and um, a tag along sample. This is my envoy. What I love about our Harney and Sons is that they always include uh, nice, hefty samples, and I always love that. So these are gonna go to work. I love drinking these teas at work because they're easy to, you know, to use. So I got the Harney and Sons Earl Grey Supreme. I love Earl Grey Supreme, and I will take this for work. And the next one I got is the Mint Verbena. I've gotten a sample of this one in the past, and I absolutely love the ice with a little bit of, um, um, a squeezed lemon and it's incredibly delicious so I'll probably leave that home because I like to make it iced or cold brew it it's delicious anyways so into the teas so the first one I got is just a sample I've never had this tea before even though I've been drinking Harney and Sons for the past six seven eight years I haven't really tried this one I haven't really given this a shot this is the Harney and Sons Tower of London I got the Tagalog that has five sachets this one, you guys already guessed it. I'm taking this baby to work because uh, I want to have this tea always ready for me at work. I've been drinking a lot of tea and I decided to start drinking tea at work. Why not? And so this one is an Earl Grey tea, I believe, with um, raspberry and chocolate notes. So that's super, incre that's super incredible. It sounds delicious. I don't know why I haven't purchased it. Maybe I'm not going to like it, but I'm pretty sure I will because I love Earl Grey tea in any form or shape. And I got two left here. This one is a Venetian tiramisu. This is a white tea. This is Harney and Sons Venetian tiramisu flavored white tea. It says Venetian indulgence only a cup away. Tiramisu inspired flavors of cacao and vanilla swirl through a blend of delicate mutant white tea and a toasted Japanese hojicha with just a hint of brandy flavor. Does that not sound delicious and exquisite and decadent and just pure goodness? Um, I also haven't had this tea before from Earl from Harney and Sons. I've been in a white tea fanatic um, and so I decided to give this one a go. I kind of wanted to get the sachets, like the tea bags, just because I wanted to take it to work. <laughs> Everything I want to take it to work now. And uh, it was not available. So I had to just get the loose leaf tea, but I kind of want to sniff it in front of you guys. Tell you guys my first impressions. Oh, oh my god, it smells like a chocolate cake. I don't get the coffee as a tiramisu should have coffee. I get a lot of chocolate cake. It's a white tea, so I hope it has a nice strong flavor. Um to show you the leaves. Let me do a I'm gonna do a close-up of this tea. Um the leaves are incredible. It has a lot of stem, so I'm gonna get a lot of grassiness out of this. I hope not, judging from the the flavoring of the tea but it's flavored with the chocolate cacao bits and vanilla and um so it should be a really good tea i'm super excited it smelled like chocolate upon first sniffs so i cannot wait to give this a shot and i'm actually gonna brew it um not in a guy one but in a regular teapot because um it's a flavored tea so yeah and the last one that i have here it's another white tea like i said i'm on a white tea this is king of by mudan this was only i believe 12 dollars at um, harney and sons i don't want to open the tin because i don't want to spoil the tea but um king of by mudan is just regular peony white tea um so yeah i'm really excited to try this one not many people have talked about harney and sons having um white tea and poor tea so i kind of want to give them a shout out because i feel like a lot of people skip on harney and sons it doesn't get as much attention as it should i give it a lot of attention because i feel like not many people talk about harney and sons so i i'm here recommending you to try harney and sons because they have amazing teas they have that royal historic palace collection with the bejeweled 
tints and they also have the classic tea collections that you can find in Walmart or Target. Beautiful, nice tints with um, decorative. You can also reuse them for like, you know, I don't know, whatever you want. And then they also have uh, boxes with like just 50 bags, loose leaf and a bunch of tea wear, logo wear and um, t-shirts, hoodies. So you name it. Harney & Sons is a well-established tea brand and I feel like um, they don't get as much recognition as other brands like David's Tea or like Tivana from Starbucks. I feel like Harney & Sons is very undercover and not many people talk about it. Uh, even though it's well-established, I feel like in social media, they don't really have a lot of following in social media. What have you. But um, yes, Harney & Sons is my favorite tea brand and I wanted to share with you guys. Um, so you guys can follow my channel, get to know me a little bit better, and get to know my likes and my dislikes. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful, found it beneficial. If you've tried Harney & Sons teas in the past, um, let me know in the comments below what's your favorite Harney & Sons blend. And if you haven't purchased from Harney & Sons, let me know in the comments below what is grabbing your attention or what would you try to buy if you maybe see something in Target or Walmart and you're like, let me pick that up. I want to know in the comments below. Um, in the meantime, follow me on Instagram where I do a lot of stories, a lot of reels, a lot of posts when it comes to tea, including Harney and Sons. And um, so we can get to know each other better. Let me know in the comments below. And until um, I see you next time, kapung karigato, kuzamasta.